At just 28, Anthony is already head chef of his own restaurant based in Leeds in Yorkshire. Three poos on one place. Soon we've done that, we're on duck veal cod. Yeah, let's go. He trained at Huddersfield Technical College, but when he heard about a chef called Ferran Adria, who ran a restaurant called El Bulli in Spain, he just had to work for him. It was just something that automatically, you know, inspired me. A, a, you know, a, a menu that was 20, 25, 30 courses long, with all kinds of wacky little different bits. It was just something that was very exciting. That there was no boundaries. There was no particular format to play. Something that Heston was just developing on. It was something that was new to this country. What Anthony learned in Spain continues to influence his food to this day. But it's not just his cutting-edge style that could help secure him a place in the finals. Gets us all out and about, doesn't it, together? Yeah, it does. His friends, Glenn and Chris, believe his competitive nature will help him through, too. Well, Tony's got to be the most competitive, definitely. Always wants to win. Oh, yeah. That's like old, though, isn't it? Don't oh, yeah. mean I'm going to. But... <laughs> Your beginnings were very simple. Um, and now it's a lot more technical. You can show your skills coming right through. And it does kind of cross your mind, you know, where does he come up with these ideas from? Where... I'd never thought of doing that. Nobody likes losing. Everyone likes to win. Just Anthony takes a lot more pride in winning than most people. There's some fantastic chefs in the country who are doing this kind of new style cooking. I'd like that style to be at least up there. Back in the Great British Menu kitchen, the two chefs are getting underway and Anthony can't resist trying Nigel's curd cheese. Have a taste, though. Yeah, have a try. How's it weighed out? It is. It, it just tastes like an old, like a day old curd, doesn't it? Yeah, bang on. So did you just come around here and say you like my cheese? I like your cheese. I do like your cheese. Sorry? I do Sorry. like your cheese. Sorry. I do. Well, he may like the cheese more than the recipe, but what he does know is that Nigel's a formidable cook. Nigel Howarth is a Michelin-starred chef and co-owner of Northcote Manor near Blackburn. I am very ambitious, I am very competitive. But I'm always thinking, is there a next progression on, on what I do now? So I've always strove to, to actually take it to the next levels. I hope they're going to like it nice and medium rare. That's how they're going to get it. He's always keen to see what seasonal produce his suppliers can come up with. Nigel, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good to see you. You too. You got this is a... I think when you're cooking naturally, you couldn't create that product the same if it was coming out of a freezer. Just, just, just there. <laughs> Off we go then. I think the regionality uh, side of what I do, which is really what I do, as, as, is a lifetime's work. Um, I know I don't look that old, but uh, in actual fact, um, you know, I've been at North Coast Manor for 25 years now. Service. I cook modern British food. I think this competition is all about the regionality for the 21st century. So if that's a fact, then I should win this competition.